Hello, welcome back. I'm Glenn. This is lesson three, week 10. During this lesson, we are going to talk about how to avoid a so what thesis statement. Another key point in week 10. In a so what thesis statement, it is unclear for what purpose a comparison is being made. Before we talk about the key points, we can first review what we learned last time. We talked about two common organization patterns for comparison and contrast essays the point by point pattern and the subject by subject pattern. The first pattern works better in longer essays with many similarities or differences to cover and is mostly used to make the writing more effective through sharp contrasts. On the other hand, the second pattern can function well in shorter essays with fewer similarities or differences in them and it is suitable for explaining similarities or differences that are connected closely and when the writer's interest is in the whole. Now, let's move on to the focus in lesson three, thesis statements. There are four thesis statements. What do you think of them? Do they fulfill the requirements of good thesis statements? Think about the criteria of a good thesis statement you've learned in the previous weeks. Look at statement one. We can see the two subjects, Mom's Hamburger Haven and Mike Fornes. And we can also tell that it is from contrast essay. But what are the differences? We don't know. Statement two, it's clear that there are two subjects life on the river and life on the shore in Mark Twain's book and it is a contrast essay. Again, what are the differences? Not specific enough. Now statement three, two subjects, Stella's Sweater Delia and the Finnish Fanatics Gym. Two gyms are contrasted. What are the differences? No idea. The last statement is a comparison essay. It's about the similarities between a movie and a novel. Do we know what the similarities are? Yes. Two similarities, the character and the plot. So far, the last statement sounds the best, being both clear and specific. But now, I'd like you to read the four thesis statements again. From reader's perspective this time, what's your response to each of the statements? How do you feel about them? Do you feel like something's missing here? Yes, the two restaurants are different. Yes, life on the river and life on the shore are different. Yes, Stella's Sweat Delia and the Finnish Fanatic Stream are different. Yes, the movie and the novel are similar. But so what? Does the question come to mind when you read them? The writer is telling us there are differences or similarities, but what's the point of telling us these facts? Why should we care about them? Why is it important to know them? We as readers couldn't possibly know the answer, only the writers know it. This is exactly the problem the four these statements have in common. Such thesis statements are usually called so what thesis statements. So, what is a so what thesis statement? A so what thesis statement contains no apparent reason in comparison or contrast. In other words, we don't know what the point is in doing comparison or contrast. Such an essay leaves readers with the impression that the writer is doing comparison contrast for the sake of comparison contrast, and there's no sense of purpose to it. It could be a waste of readers' valuable time. Then what can we do to avoid such these state statements? One of the ways is to tell one subject is better than the other. Do you remember the article we've read and analyzed, John and Paul? It's written to bring the two subjects into sharp contrast, 
so as to show Paul makes a better boyfriend than John. So we can revise this thesis statement by adding the point that Mom's Hamburger Haven is a better family restaurant than McFoney's. From the new thesis statement, we not only know the two subjects, the differences, but also the purpose of explaining the three differences. Another way to avoid so what thesis statement is to find a purpose that will join the audience in general. In the revised version, we can grasp the subjects river sings and shore sings, and we can also tell it is a contrast essay through the word contrasting. In addition, we can find the purpose added to find the true expression of American democratic ideals. One must leave civilized society and go back to nature. Those who have read this book may have a different interpretation of what Mark Twain suggests in this book, and their interest could be triggered and drive them to read this essay to find out how such interpretation is achieved. Those who have got the same interpretation may be interested in the essay in order to find out whether they might arrive at such an interpretation based on the same arguments. Those who haven't read the book could get some ideas from the essay first, which could help them understand the book later. You see, with a purpose which attracts those people, the thesis statement has become very meaningful. A third way of avoiding a so what thesis statement is to direct the thesis statement to a particular audience instead of the audience in general. Compare the original version and the revised version here. The difference between the two versions lies in the new idea that Stella's is the place to go for those seeking a variety of exercise classes rather than only being able to use hardcore bodybuilding machines. The ID point implies contrast. Stella's provides a variety of exercise classes, while the fitness fanatics gym is equipped with hardcore bodybuilding machines. Therefore, the two gyms serve different customers. Such a thesis statement does not tell which gym is better. Instead, it helps gym lovers in a local area a particular audience to choose the one which is more suitable to them. A fourth way of avoiding a so what thesis statement is to show a particular relationship between two subjects. The revised version here is better than original thesis statement because it shows the point of analyzing the similarities between a movie and a novel. The movie director was greatly influenced by, if not actually guilty of stealing, parts of Mary Shelley's novel. This is the major idea of the essay. Doing comparison is just a means for the end. During this lesson, we've talked about a few ways to avoid a so what thesis statement. We can tell one subject is better than the other and we can find a purpose that will draw in the audience in general. We can also direct the thesis statement to a particular audience. Besides, we can show a particular relationship between two subjects. There could be other ways too, but the golden rule is to tell readers the major point and then use comparison and contrast to support the idea. Don't just compare or contrast two subjects for the sake of comparison or contrast. That's all for this lesson. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you again.